Yo, 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 what's going on guys, Fatal Aquatic here, and welcome back to another episode of Call of Duty Ghost Gun Guide. This is where I break down the weapon, giving you guys the most important information and stats you need to know to help you become better Call of Duty Ghost players. So today we're looking at the FAD Assault Rifle, and I honestly think that this is the most underrated gun in the game. Like, I never really see anybody really using this thing, but it's an absolute monster if you use it on the right maps and in the right situations. So, let's get into this. Now, why is this weapon so good? Where does it stand out? Well, first and foremost, it's got the fastest fire rate of all the assault rifles. And that fire rate is even faster than most of the SMGs. It's quicker than half of them, so you know, obviously, that's a pretty big deal. And it kind of turns it into almost like an assault rifle SMG hybrid weapon that absolutely destroys at close to medium range. And then, on top of that, it's an assault rifle, so it has like assault rifle range uh, property. So its damage doesn't drop off as quickly as SMG's damage does. So you know uh, that paired with the fact that it fires so quickly, it's literally like it competes with SMG's um, up close at super close range. But then again, it outperforms SMG's at the medium to longer distances. It can compete with some of the SAR rifles at those distances. So it's kind of like a jack of all trades gun in a sense. Now that being said, it's not a god-like weapon. It does have its faults. The biggest fault would probably have to be its damage, at least when you're comparing it to other ARs, because it is one of the most weaker assault rifles in the game. You know, up close it doesn't even compare to like the Remington or the AK-12 or something like that. And it also, its damage starts to drop off a little uh, bit quicker than most of the other ARs. So, you know, when you're in those longer range gunfights, if the other guy has an AR and he's got a decent aim, you're usually going to lose with the FAD. This thing is more of a jack of all trades. It really excels in those close to medium gunfights, like I said. So yeah, this thing is absolutely beast when you use it in the right scenarios. You know, maps like Strike Zone, Fright, uh, Sovereign, uh, Tremor, you know, even Warhawk. The ones where it's kind of mixed to where you can have those medium to long range gunfights. But then again, you also have a lot of close range engagements. Those maps are where this thing really excels. Nothing can really compete with it because, again, you know it can beat out a lot of the SMGs up really close. But then it can also absolutely destroy them at medium range and compete with some of the assault rifles at medium to long range. So it's kind of a jack of all trades weapon. It's pretty good. Um, so now, as far as the class setup, I like to use for the scene. Uh, the two main attachment recommendations that I have are uh, red dot sight and muzzle break. Is usually what I roll with. I like to have a little bit more uh, range on this scene to help out with its damage and things like that. Also, red dot sight and foregrip is pretty good if you aren't a fan of recoil, which, uh, I mean, nobody really is. I would not suggest running a suppressor on this thing. Um, maybe if you're playing search and destroy, but it absolutely destroys the weapon and makes it way too weak. So I don't recommend that. Uh, as far as for perks, you got a lot of freedom. You can use whatever you like uh, to use on assault rifles. My two favorites on this weapon are focus because you know obviously you want to get as many shots on target with this thing Especially with its high fire rate and it's kind of lower damage and things like that And then also steady aim is super super effective on this weapon You know you want you know as much accuracy as you possibly can So you can take out the enemies a lot quicker um, So yeah that's uh, basically my uh, best class setup and decent perks to use on this weapon Like I said you have uh, pretty much freedom on this gun you can use whatever you feel comfortable with and um that's uh, basically it guys for uh the fad um not too bad of an assault rifle it's uh, got a lot of weaknesses uh, it's got some straights but um i'm not really too big of a fan on it like i said not not very many people use it um it is underrated but um you could definitely do well with this weapon, you know, on the maps I mentioned earlier. And even, you know, some of the bigger maps, it just depends what kind of player you are. You know, if you're a really good rusher, then, you know, this might actually not be that bad of a choice. Um, but, you know, then again, if you like, you know, like staying back, you like, uh, you know, hanging around your spawn, that kind of stuff, uh, I definitely would recommend uh, some other type of assault, ra assault rifle or, um, you know, maybe... A like a sniper rifle, I don't know, just something you know you feel more comfortable with. But um, yeah, guys, that's it for today. I'll be back with another episode of Call of Duty Ghost Gun Guy tomorrow. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.